Hello. Hello, hello. Pop don't pop in on you in the evening. Uh, this is Brother West. This is Prophet West. I have a direct word. I have a direct word from the Lord. And I'm not going to be long talking about this word because I have a direct word. Uh, come on in and come on in. Uh, I'm, I'm going to flow in about, I'm going to flow in about, give me about 30 seconds. I have a direct word for someone. I have a direct word for God's people. Uh, this is a season of new beginnings. You know, this is a new month. It's August, the eighth month. Number eight is a number of new beginning. It's a new beginning. New beginning is something new. New life, new understanding, uh, new perspective, um, uh, a, a better relationship, a fresh. New also means to be fresh. Something that's fresh, something that's new, not stale, but fresh. Uh, when you put when you put food in the refrigerator, it keeps it preserved. Hello, Sarah. God bless you. Hello, child of a, of a soldier. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. And after I release this word uh, to you, I'm going to get off. Do me a favor. Share this with your friends. Share this with your friends. Um, and uh, the word, if I would, the word that God spoke to me today. And the thing about it, let me set this up. The thing about it, if you notice, if you notice, you're tired. If you notice that you're at a place where uh, you're tired and you're weary, not to give up, but you're tired. It's almost like holding something for a long time. Now, initially it was light. It was light. Maybe it was light, but over a period of time it became heavy. And this is many of you. And you're at a place where, you're at a place, if I could explain, you're at a place where thoughts go to your mind, uh, but you won't give up. And, but I want to let you know not to give up because God got something for you. See, because at the place where you are, where you're being challenged, at the place where you are, where emotions and all things are going through your mind, where you want to move, you want to stay. Uh, there's some of you, you've been, you've been wanting to move from there you are. You feel like where you are is boring. You feel like where you are is not challenging. You feel like where you are, you feel like God is calling you to somewhere else. And see, you're at a place where you need direction and you need a move from God. You suffer, you suffer, you suffer, and you're tired of suffering. You want to stop this suffering. You know that you must suffer for Christ, but at a certain point, uh, you want the suffering to be over. Well, one of the words that I have for you is that God said there's an expiration date that is attached to your suffering. And God said that you're at the end of your test. You're at the end of this one particular test. God said you're at the end of it. See, what you need to realize and understand, if I can do it, the Tower of, uh, the, tower of the Showdown of Baal with Elijah against the prophets, uh, the false prophets of Jezebel. All of us false prophets. There was 850 of them. There was a showdown. And at the showdown, the God that was the true God answered by fire. And after God answered by fire, and after Jezebel, Jezebel prophets were killed and uh, destroyed, the Bible says Elijah got on his knees and began to pray. And on his knees, as he began to pray, he told his servant to go check for a sign seven times. And after that, uh, he gave him the sign. He said, get thee up. He told the king Ahab, get thee up for there's a sound of abundance. See, many of you, you just come through a battle. You just come through a great warfare. You just come through a great mental and emotional battle. But the place where you just come through it, I, I come to let you know after your defeat or after, after your victory, after your triumph, there is coming your abundance. Listen to me. There are some of you, you're, you're hanging in there. You're trying to hang in there. You're tired. You're tired. You're dangling. There's an old saying that, that somebody say when you're hanging there, if you're going to hang in there, hang in there, but don't get hung. So you're at the place where you're dangling. You are dangling for direction. You're dangling for energy. You're dangling for strength. But God says at that place right now, don't become emotional. See, because at this place where you're emotional, this is the, your transition into your blessing. This is the transition into your abundance. See, your abundance is coming through your, your hearing. Hearing clearly. The Bible says that he that has an ear, let him hear. And see, at the place where you become emotional, at the place where pressure is at an all-time high, this is the place where God wants you to focus. God wants you to focus not on your pressure. God don't want you to focus on your pain or your circumstance or what you see or what you think you hear.
God don't want you to focus on that because that serves as a proverbial distraction. And those things have a voice. Distractions has a voice. Hurts has a voice. Pain has a voice. Hello. Hello, Kimberly. And so don't listen to the distractions. They're just like if I'm driving a car and I'm driving a car on the road. But if uh, my, my tires have become, if my tires have become low or worn out and the water is wet, what will happen when the road is wet, uh, I will lose traction. And when I lose traction, I will begin to slide. See what happens, distractions will come to cause you to lose traction. In other words, the adversary wants you to lose focus. And see, your, 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 abundance, your abundance, there's a sound with your abundance. Your, your abundance. The abundance has a voice. Your blessing has a voice. Your miracles has a voice. God wants you to lock in to the voice of God. See, there are many voices out there. Everything has a sound. But what God wants you to do, God wants you to listen to the greater sound. Because in the greater sound, the greater sound is speaking of your abundance. And I've noticed here, even in Atlanta, over the last few days, it's been raining. It's been raining a little bit consistently. It's been raining consistently, and through the rain today, God spoke to me and said that this is the sign. This is the sign that uh, to tell my people that I have released the rain. I've released their blessing. Listen to me. God has released your blessing, but it's up to you to get it. It's up to you to see it. It's up to you to receive what God has for you. And the way you receive it, you receive it through faith. You, you receive it through focus. Your faith must be focused on what God has for you. Some of you right now at the sound of my voice, you will receive, you're receiving your miracle and your miracle came through your focus. There are some of you, you've been waiting on a certain thing over and over again, over, and over again, a new job, uh, focus. God has new jobs, but what you have to do is to focus, to focus and say, God, I receive, I receive obedience will cause your miracle. Obedience will cause your blessing. Obedience will cause it to happen now. It's, it's, you have to go through no change and nothing like that. Say, God, I trust you. God, I receive it. Focus. Focus. Your blessing. Your blessing is in your focus. And so what God wants you to do, God wants you to focus on faith. Faith is substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Faith is tangible. Faith is the evident fact. That in heaven is done already. Everything we need from God is already done. It's in heaven. The Bible said, call those things that be not as though they were. It's already formed. Your healing, your deliverance, your miracle is already there in heaven. It's already there in the spirit. It's already there in your mouth. It's already there in your spirit. Because when you receive God, you receive everything that you need. If you sick, physician, heal yourself. See, what we need to realize is that God has given us an ability, an authority, and a power, and that if we use what we have, then we can keep things away from us. See, some stuff that are fighting you and that's fighting you and that keep fighting you is because you're quiet. Things keep tormenting you because you keep letting it torment you. So when things are tormenting you, it's your own fault. See, because God has not given us uh, a spirit of fear because fear brings tormentation or to be tormented. If you want things to go out of your life, the Bible says to submit unto God. First of all, you must first submit unto God. And the moment that you submit unto God, resist the devil and he will flee. He will flee. He will flee at the command of your mouth, at even at the command of your movements, at the command of the word of God. See, because the word of God is a yoke destroying and burden renewing anointing, authority, motion, energy, power. And the moment that you get in a line with the authority and with the uh, uh, obedience of and the structures of God's word, you will become liberated. You will become set free. Your deliverance, your healing, your breakthrough, uh, your new job, uh, your, your, your new relationship, your new love, uh, your new atmosphere, your, your new atmosphere, your new atmosphere, your new and closer relationship with God is in your mouth. It's in the movement of your mouth. Hear me and hear me well. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Direct word, God said, direct word is in your mouth. Your deliverance is in your mouth. And it starts with your mouth. Your miracle is being released right now. The moment that you release your mouth, you re release it from your mouth. And in your releasing what you need from God from your mouth, give it a title. Give it a title. Tell it. Command it. Command your blessing. Command your breakthrough. Command your healing. Command your deliverance. It's been waiting on you. You've been quiet. Command, decree. 
God said, I got your back. There's over 3,000 promises that God has laid up for you. And all you got to do is get in line. At the moment you get in line, declare it. Take it. Take it. Don't quit. See, because at the place where you are, your blessing, your breakthrough is there. It's in you. It's in you. You feel weak. The Bible says those that are weak say I'm strong. If you're weak, say I'm strong. And even if you're weak, God graces there. See, because the thing about it, anything that you're suffering, anything that you're going through, any kind of pressure, any kind of pain, any kind of warfare that you up under, listen to me, listen to me well, and you feel like it's unbearable, you feel like you can't handle it, you feel like you're about to fade, you feel like you're about to die, you feel like you're about to have a heart attack, let me tell you something, God has already given you the grace. So in other words, you're going to make it. So take it. If you can take it, you can make it. See, what God is doing, God is making you stronger. He's making your spirit stronger. He's making your faith stronger. And the way your faith becomes stronger is by standing. By standing. By standing the test of time. The Bible says, tribulation, work of patience, experience, and hope. Hope is expectation. Hear me and hear me well. I'm dying. God bless you.